episode of Making Your Money Work For You. For today's episode, we will be discussing about trading strategies that can be implemented in a portfolio to increase your quality of life. We will be covering various industries, strategies for stock selection, and application of these strategies. The portfolio we will be discussing today consists of stocks that are either recovering or experiencing stable growth. Since this is a portfolio, we try to diversify it with different industries to reduce its overall risk. Since this is a portfolio that are negatively correlated, such as automotive stock sectors, which is negatively correlated to the energy industry in the oil sector. The portfolio also consists of stocks that are considered to be a broad defensive sector, such as healthcare, as they are stable products indifferent to the economic conditions. Okay, so we use a combination of both fundamental analysis and technical analysis for the basis of choosing and trading the stocks. So the annual report talks about the future plans of the company and the current financial position of the company as a whole. And as well as the company's free cash flow, which is essential for investors to know about the liquidity of the company. We also use valuation ratios such as P ratios, EV to EBIT, EV to EBITDA, and EV to BB to determine if the stocks are being fairly priced. We choose to compare stocks to the peers with similar market capitalization so that it can better reflect the current standing of the stocks chosen. So moving on to the technical analysis of the stocks chosen. We have analyzed the following charts, indicators, and patterns as shown on screen. For the candlestick charts, we attempted to identify bullish engulfing patterns. That is a strong indication for us to enter into the market for a specific stock. For the moving average convergence divergence, also known as the MACD, we focus on the interception of the MACD line with the signal line, with the MACD being above the signal line to signal a bullish momentum by the market. In addition, we have employed the use of Bollinger Bands, Stochastics, and RSI, which helps to indicate if the stock is being fairly priced. The reason why we chose three indicators to indicate if the stock is fairly priced is due to the different methods of calculation for them. If all three indicators are showing the same sign, this will help to enhance the reliability of our trading decision. We'll be taking a short break, and when we come back, our two very own valuation experts will delve into their two highest rated stocks and why they recommend them. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Well, our experts will now delve into their investment strategies. Thank you, Benedict. With the upcoming update to 5G, we have two frontrunners in its development, Qualcomm and Intel. Looking at their PE ratios over the past three quarters, we can see that after the third quarter of 2018, Qualcomm has performed over Intel over the last two quarters, indicating a higher growth expectation. But recently, it's been involved in a long-running legal dispute with Apple, one of its partners, with the stock prices fluctuating with each legal battle. So when we saw a victory in Germany against Apple on the 14th of February, we looked to buy the stock. First, you see a bullish crossover on the 7th, with the MACD line crossing over with the signal line. We see a widening gap, which shows a continued uptrend. And on the 19th, we decided to buy the stock of 100 shares at $52.10. After a month, you see the RSI moving upwards towards the overbought threshold, with the MACD almost intersecting the signal line, indicating that it might be moving into a bearish crossover. Seeing that the stock may be overbought and that the stock price would fall, fall soon after, we sold the shares at $54.61 on March 12th. Okay, so for the next stock that we'll be looking at is APCs from the oil industry. Last year, APC announced that they are investing on capital projects this year, which will boost their production by 10%. They will also be clearing most of their debt, reflecting a positive balance sheet and reaping a higher return to its shareholders. Next. In comparison with its competitors such as CQP and MPLX, which, is, which have got the same market capitalization, we can see that the P ratio is higher while the rest of the valuation ratio is lower than its peers. This shows a greater insight that APC is expected to have higher earnings in the future and unlikely that it is overvalued. And therefore, we have decided to invest in this particular stock. Next, so how do we enter into the trade? We start by looking at the technical tools and wait for an advantageous position to enter. As such, we have entered into the trade on 18th March 2019, when the stochastic MACD and Bollinger Bands, as circled here, aligns on the signal that the price is oversold and it is credible to buy and hold till the same two signals for a sell, for a sell in the future. And in conclusion, in conclusion, even though these strategies may be lucrative for investment, there are still limitations to, to it, such as random walk, in which we can never accurately predict the future prices of the stocks. There could also be slow reaction by investors to the news and being in a different time zone from the foreign market may make us miss out the chance to capture lucrative moments in trades. With that, we end our presentation and we'll see you again in the next episode.